way. Now, uh, we've just taken a really good quality, really pretty uh, goat here. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to do um, how to cape out and do it for a, a shoulder mount. So a lot of people run into difficulty caping out. So now that we have a trophy, I'm going to show you exactly how to cape out an animal. And um, what they call, the, the main thing is we don't cut the throat on it. We don't go near the front as he has a lovely mane on him. We don't touch that. So what we do, our first cut is we, because of this, you just pull back the hair, but come well back well back on the shoulder, well behind the shoulder and put the knife in and cut up. That way you're losing none of the hair. You're not cutting down on the hair and the whole way around to the front. So we have it looking like that. Once we have it that section there done. We place our knife in. And we pull out the eye of his neck. We come up along. The reason I cut up is to minimize the hair and it makes for easy, easy stitching then later on. So knife in, straight through and back keeping the line straight. It just makes the job way easier for the taxidermist. Knife in, straight back. You can see the cut is going straight. So knife in, push the knife out and back. That way you're not losing any of that mane and you're keeping the line straight going up to the back of the animal's head. Out, through and back. You can see now the way it's beginning to look and we need that to go right up to the back of the animal's head and we're losing no hair. Then it's a matter of peeling. time. Don't mind a bit of meat on the height, the taxidermist. When you come to this point, this point of the clearing, come down to the shoulder and follow it down to the hock. You can see there, Need to clear, clear the hock. As I said, goats are one of the toughest animals to skin. As I said, don't do not mind a bit of meat on the height. Taxidermist will take care of that. He'd rather, as they say, they'd rather see a bit of meat on the hide than holes in the hide. And holes in the hide be stitching. And they don't like stitching. So 
So, at this point, they have one side already done. So now, we pull our hide back over to keep the hide clean. And we turn our animal over. And we do the same. As I said, it's it's not easy work caping it out, but any taxidermist will tell you, spend time at it. If it's if it's a trophy you're proud of and you've done a good job on, they do not like seeing it come cut too short. And again, get it and start peeling. This is a really nice, nice coat. When we come to the shoulder, follow it down at the back of the shoulder. As I said, you need a really sharp knife and a quality knife for doing this. And I have my favorite, one of my favorites, one of the Paddy Smith, the original knife that we designed together out with me today. And as you can see, it's doing the job very well. Keep a pull up on the hide. Don't mind, as I said, the taxidermists don't mind meat on the high. I'm doing this because I'm not going to spend all day. I could do it in such a way that there'd be no meat on the hide, but it's just more time consuming and I'm not going to uh, spend all day up here doing this as we have further hunts to do, hunting to do today underneath. Keeping a pull on the cape. damage and a straight cut up the back. And that, that folks is how you cape out a trophy animal and as I said works well on all animals.